Hi, it's Andy Taylor with Tech Talk Radio, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in the Asus K55 laptop. Love this laptop. And this laptop comes with a standard, standard SATA drive. So we're going to update. On the bottom of the laptop, there are two screw holes right there. All right, there you go. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just we've removed the screws already because obviously I've tried to do this with one hand. Um, okay, so once we have the cover off of the Asus K55, uh, you see you have several places here. You have your memory. That's where you can upgrade your memory if you need to. This one came pretty much packed. Uh, we've got our Wi-Fi and then we have our SD slot here. Here's the drive. This is the standard 750. Now there are two screws here. I found this at Office Max. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD. And uh, if you have a laptop and you want to upgrade it, now this is the only give and take here. This is 120 gigabytes of storage in this SSD. And an SSD, in case you don't know, is basically a solid state device that has no moving parts. The, as opposed to this traditional hard drive, which has moving platters, etc. The only thing is 120 gigabytes. Now you can go up, I've seen them as high as um, 480 gigabytes, and I think they're working, uh, they're th I, th I do believe they're working on a one, uh, a one terabyte model. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Oh yeah, SSD all the way. I, you know, if you can do it in a desktop, but you see, this is the downside for people in a laptop. Here I have a 750 gigabyte drive that's in this laptop, and I want to put this Kingston 120 gigabyte. And the nice thing about desktops with SSDs is you can have secondary drives that are internal you don't have to mess with. You know, in this case, you would actually have to carry an external drive if you really needed to have more than 120 gigabytes. Um, it is more expensive, but it is much faster. And that's a 240 gigabyte. But then I have, you know, we've got to have the storage for video and audio and everything else. And of course, you always get this with screws. You always get that one screw that doesn't want to come out. So we're, uh, we're going to just go ahead and do this here. This is a cool little kit that I got for uh, pulling out. Uh, and this is, it's, this is like a $5 kit. If you have a Harbor Tools nearby, it actually comes with torque screws. And torque screws are if you have to do intricate work they sold the kit saying if you need to fix iphones anybody ever tried to fix an iphone yikes the screws are like super super tiny and then i have that one screw that just it just wants to be difficult all right so what i'm going to do here is reach over here all right i'm going to see if i can uh do this here there we go I'll just pull that little guy out Always good to have like a pair of pliers around when you're doing this. So to remove the drive, it's very easy to take it out of the laptop. You just pull back and then just lift it up. Be very gentle with these. You don't want to drop them. And again, that's see, that's a traditional 750 gigabyte drive. It's a SATA 3 and I mean, it's nice because I got all that space, but I wanted to have it faster. This is how easy it is. Now it comes with a little plastic piece that'll help it slide in, but it's it's super easy. You just turn it upside down, take it, and pop that sucker in. Of course, put all the screws in, put the back panel in, put your uh, operating system in there, and install your drive just as you would anything else. And uh, you should be good to go.